Welcome back. I'm here at Aurora Consulting Group with President Jeff McCaskey. Jeff, thanks for having us here today. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about, first, for you, yourself and then about Aurora Consulting. Well, I'm uh, from this area and uh, started this company in, in 1992 after being a, an electrical engineer for, for many different places. And uh, so in 1992 to today, this is our 16th year um, in, in business here in East Aurora. Um, we're up to currently 58 employees and, um, and uh, doing, doing quite well. You know, our, uh, our business here is really in two sections, two, two major areas, uh, one being software, web development, and the other being systems and network hardware engineering type things. In the uh, software development world, you know, everything is a website these days. Um, you can say you're a web developer, but for the most part, custom software is web. And um, so we have websites out there that we have done for hundreds of companies. And uh, they range from very small to very large. Small being static websites that might only have a page or two to them. And large being very large dynamic websites you know, that could have hundreds of thousands of pages and databases and things like that right. beyond that. Currently, we're doing, uh, on an international basis, we call it localization, but we have websites out there now in 29 different languages. Wow. Um, and that's a real challenge because, um, you know, there's uh, finding the people to do that um, and, and keeping those sites fresh and updated and, and respectful of, of uh, you know, what is appropriate in right. various countries to be able to produce is, is, is quite a challenge. Um, so that's on the website. On the networking side, uh, we take care of a lot of people's in, companies' internal networks, um, build the networks, supply them. You know, what we're not is we're not a reseller. We don't sell equipment. Mm -hmm. um, we take responsibility for making it work. Um, and so that's a, that's a very large challenge. But overall, I mean, you know, we're in a, we're in a business, the, the, uh, the internet world, the software world, which changes so rapidly. Uh, every 18 months, um, pretty much the, the technology reinvents itself. And companies find themselves saying, okay, well, I bought this last year. I want to buy one more. Um, you know, why can't I buy what I bought last year? Well, stuff goes obsolete in a few weeks, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean... Have you bought the last iPod or, or right. laptop that you'll ever buy in your life? You know, so, uh, so we face the same thing of, of helping helping companies, you know, keep their networks running and keep them secure. Security is a big thing, you know, identity theft and fraud, and and um, making sure that your networks aren't hacked from the outside. Um, but it all comes down to people, and um, you know, so we're a people business. We're a professional services people business. And you can't do it without people. There isn't, there isn't a machine that does our, our work. So our challenges are really more on the people side. And we call it the three R's. Um, and that's uh, recruitment, uh, retention, and retraining. So on the recruitment side, um, because we're at a professional services level, we like to hire, actually we have to hire the best of the best right. that's available. And so recruitment is a real challenge because with the internet now, there isn't just one place to go to advertise anymore. I mean, you used to be able to go to the, the classified and say, here's where I'm going to advertise for my people. Well, that's, you know, a very small percentage now really goes to the classifieds. Um, there are so many different electronic places to be able to advertise, you know, to, to do recruitment. And then where do you find the people? And, and so, you know, we've had um, a great deal of luck in what we call repatriates people who left Western New York, um, got out of college, didn't come back to Western New York, went somewhere else to work, but then find themselves in their life saying, um, I really can't afford to buy a house in this city. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's a $400,000 house and it's nothing. And saying that they, they want to bring up a family in an area um, similar to where they grew up. It's very affordable and so, here. Very affordable and, and style of life and, mm -hmm. you know, wonderful winters and, and on and on and on. You can't beat the summers here right. and the winters are wonderful. <laughs> You know, the next step is once you get them in the door, the other, next hour is retention. How do you hold on to these people? Extremely talented, um, have a lot of demand in the marketplace. They could get up and go at a moment's notice. And the idea is to not to get them to try to look for another job. Right. Keep them here. And the way to retention is to keep them challenged. You know, they all know that if they don't keep themselves current in the technologies, they keep themselves ahead of the game, like I say, 18-month window is, is right. what their educational 
Well, well that's, that's what it seems from what you described and the change in the technology and, and the learning curve and everything else and everything that, that moves along so quickly. To have these kind of people, the best and brightest, as you said, is, is really key to, to yeah. you doing your job well. Yeah. So if, if you can't retain them, we, we must retain them. Yeah. And the way to retain them is to keep them challenged and with new, new and exciting work. And that falls into the retraining. Um, some of it is formal training. Some of it is um, on-the-job training. Uh, some of it is just seeing who who else did something on the internet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the internet is so big and uh, and encompassing that uh, I don't I don't really call it plagiarism. I call it saying, okay, well, look at what somebody did it's over here. Idea. I think we can do it better. <laughs> so it's uh -huh. it's kind of easy to see what your competition or your client's competition is doing, and always take it one step up from that. The internet is turning in into a a much more indexed world. Uh, in the past, you would have websites out there and you would have a search engine that basically found who you are and what you are. And now the search engines have kind of come full circle where they have opened up their databases for companies to populate the search engine databases, either populate them with sitemaps or populate them with raw data. I mean, things like Google Base where you can upload your entire inventory if you were a seller of things uh -huh. or menu systems or whatever. So no longer are, are you left with search engines that you know, say, okay, we simply found your site, but now they found the data within your site. Uh -huh. I mean, there are you know, 60 million unique websites out there right now, 60 million, and it's growing at about two to three million per month. I mean, that's, that's not two to three million pages per incredible. month, that's entire sites that's per month, incredible. worldwide. And so, you know, what do, what do students need to take in school? They need to be very well-rounded in, in the international world, the business world, the technology world, um, because it is a much wider global marketplace. Yeah. Um, but on the, on the recruitment side, you know, it, it goes back to what is the availability? People talk about, oh, it's going offshore, it's going offshore. Not necessarily. I mean, a lot of work does go offshore, uh, but when it comes to intellectual brain power of people producing something, um, a lot of that stays right here, um, but it comes back into our educational institutions yeah. being able to produce that. Okay. Well, Jeff, we need to wrap up now, and, and this is really important. I know we probably can go on for another hour or whatever, but if people want to get a hold of you and get more information, what's the best way for them to do that? Actually, our website. <laughs> yeah, right sure, I knew, you were gonna, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, but I had to ask. And that's, so. uh, the <laughs> website is bflo.com, short for Buffalo. Um, mm -hmm. We got that because we're the first ones in the Internet to be able to grab domain names, and so it was an easy one to grab. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get that today. but yeah. So bflo.com is our website, and that's uh, for anybody looking on the recruitment side. That's all the recruitment information and any other contact information for services is all there as well, too. Oh, okay. great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. We'll be back in just a minute. There's a reason to visit East Aurora every season. Come browse our collection of exquisite shops, antique stores, and art galleries. Experience our fine restaurants, historic sites, and museums. Stroll our tree-lined streets, enjoy our various parks, or take part in our many community events and festivals. Whatever the season, there's always a reason to visit East Aurora. Call 652-8444 or visit eastaurora.com.